Today, I want to talk about how the garden is actually at the epicenter of every decision we make with regard to animals at the homestead. Let me explain. It all starts with our growing spaces. We have bees because yes, we get honey, but they also offer us their pollination services, which then increases our yields, not only in the garden, but in our fruit trees too. The next thing we have are ducks. Ducks, yes, we get down feathers, yes, we get eggs, but the thing about ducks is they eat slugs, they eat snails, they also take care of any excess insects like roly-polies, all while fertilizing the garden, and they help with cleanup after the season passes. Then the geese come in. The geese help to protect those ducks by way of sounding their alarm at any abnormality. The other thing that geese do is they provide us with eggs, down feathers, weeding by way of grazing pasture spaces and unmowed areas. Because the geese are not physically able to fend off coyotes, fox, bobcats, and bear, which we have in our area, we bring in livestock guardian dogs. Livestock guardian dogs keep the flock safe, not just the geese and the ducks, but they also protect the horses and the sheep from large predators. We also have sheep on the farm. Yes, we get wool, but we also have a lot of grassy growing areas and sheep prefer grassy forage, not weeds. Sheep bedding can be composted and used in growing spaces. The other thing is seconds or unwanted wool for spinning into yarn can be used as a biodegradable mulch for the garden. Sheep also help in our pasture spaces. Their bodies break down the parasites that infect horses and horses break down the parasites that infect sheep. With our horses, yes, we can use them for riding, but we also use them for pulling. They spread manure, they spread compost in our growing spaces, and of course they give us the manure to create that compost in the first place. As mentioned before, they help to break down the parasites that infect the sheep. All that manure goes right into our garden spaces and our orchards. Now in our pasture rotation system, the flock comes through after the sheep and the horses have grazed. As they go through the fields, they actually blow apart the manure piles looking for insects, and by doing so, they also ingest parasites that affect the sheep and the horses. Off to the side here, we have guinea fowl. Last year, myself and my dogs came down with Lyme disease. We live in the most tick-infested county in the entire country, so it was time to do something about it. Guinea fowl are especially good at ingesting ticks and other insects, but in doing so, they keep myself and my other animals tick-free, healthy, and happy. Lastly, we have just a couple of barn cats on the farm. They take care of the rodent population, and in doing so, they actually are helping to reduce ticks as well. Mice, rats, and other rodents are notorious for carrying ticks from point A to point B. We don't want point B to be our farm. So yes, we keep cats, and they help to keep the tick population down, which means we can reduce the risk of limes and other tick-borne diseases for myself and the rest of the animals. This is the entire working ecosystem of animals that all comes back to the garden here at Axon Root Homestead.